Good evening. We're here tonight to honor and celebrate the achievements of our high achieving students at Indio Middle School. First, I would like to thank all of our students for their hard work and dedication to their academics over the past three years. I would also like to thank our families for their commitment to their child's success and to IMS. I would also like to personally thank the Honors Dessert Committee for organizing this amazing virtual and drive through event. Finally, I would like to give a big thanks to all of our IMS staff for their passion and dedications to all of our students. Thank you for inspiring our students. Tonight is a celebration of accomplishments, hard work, dedication, and perseverance over the past three years for 44 of our students, the best of the best at Indio Middle School. So without further ado, let's kick off our 2021 Honors Desserts Award Night. And now, Ms. Hudson. Thank you, Mrs. Hartman. In order to qualify for Honors Dessert, a student had to maintain a 3.0 grade point average or higher for nine of 11 quarters in middle school with nothing lower than a 3.0 in the eighth grade year. We are so excited to recognize these students. So without further ado, I would like to introduce our 44 Honors Dessert recipients for the 2020-21 school year in alphabetical order. And here they are.
It's event day, ladies and gentlemen, the day we've all been waiting for. My name is Mrs. Mize, and my primary role is to ensure that our bilingual students are using their home language to help them improve their English skills. So one ELD student who stood out to all of us is Marlene Castillo Sanchez. She has astonished all of us with her love of learning and the improvement she has made is spectacular. We are so proud of her. Congratulations, Marlene. Good evening, Tigers. I'm Mrs. Need, and I teach art here at IMS. I am here this evening to present the award um, for fine arts, for honors fine arts. The award this year goes to Jasmine Calderon. Jasmine, I've had the pleasure of having you for two years now, and every day you amaze me with your artistic ability. But not only are you extremely artistic, but you are an amazing person. You are kind. Um, you are funny. Every morning you make me laugh. Um, I know it's been a rough year and you have just, you have rocked it, girl. I'm so proud of you um, and everything you've done. And I wish you the best of luck in high school. I'm going to miss you so much. Congratulations. Amazing IMS students and families, it's always an honor getting to talk to so many rewarding people. Students, your teachers know how strange this past year has been for you, and parents, we know how wild this past year has been for you. Even with its challenges, you and your children have persevered, and you all deserve acknowledgement. Thank you for sticking this out with us and trusting us. I personally am here to acknowledge a student who has gone above and beyond in language arts. It feels strange to be speaking on behalf of someone I've never personally met or even seen on a computer screen, but this person's drive, desire to succeed, and self-respect speaks volumes loud enough to be heard even given our unique circumstance. As I get into the student's attributes, I want to start with the most important. This student is kind. She uses please and thank you in a world where I feel like I hear please and thank you less and less. It does not go unnoticed. When she appreciates someone, she lets them know. I can only imagine that when she's physically in the classroom, she would be willing to help her classmates. As I said before, this girl has got drive with a capital D. She knows her worth and she will do whatever it takes to achieve her goals because she is worthy. She advocates for herself, which takes guts and confidence. Keep that up. If you need answers, ask questions. If you aren't heard, ask them again and louder. This student succeeds academically and it's not because academics always comes easy to her. I'm going to say that again. This student succeeds academically, and it is not because academics comes easy to her. She works for it. She spends the time and then some on not just getting her work done, but doing it to a high standard. Done is not good enough for her. Even good enough isn't good enough for her. She doesn't stop until she has achieved mastery. I want to end by saying this. I have loved being your teacher this past year. Thank you for being my student. Don't ever stop shining. And if you ever feel yourself dimming, please think back to why you are receiving this award. You are deserving. On behalf of the Language Arts Department, it thrills me to award this year's recipient to Vanessa Lemus. The math department proudly presents their award to Annika Coronado. She is an excellent student who has shown tremendous growth since the sixth grade. She has excelled in distance learning with hard work and dedication. 
During Zoom classes, she is always on time and very respectful. Her participation in those classes has been excellent, using the chat as well as unmuting to answer questions. She keeps the class going. Her participation often encourages others to participate. She continues to turn in all of her assignments on time and complete all of her work. One of the many things her teachers admire about Annika is that she's not afraid to make mistakes. She never gets discouraged, and when she does make a mistake, she always welcomes teacher feedback and utilizes it right away. This award is well-deserved for Annika, who embodies our Roar values and is a dedicated and hardworking student. Congratulations, Annika, from all of your math teachers. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Honors Dessert, one of my very, very favorite nights of the year because we get to celebrate all of our amazing tigers who have been the best of the best for three years now. And, and I love this night, and I'm sorry we can't be here live together, but this is, believe me, going to be the next best thing. I'm Coach Mead. I am here to honor and celebrate the Physical Education Honors Desert, Dessert Awards recipient. And um, I kind of do things a little bit differently. I prefer to say my award winner's name, and then I, I want to talk about my award winner for a little bit. Um, normally, after I say the name, I, I bring my winner up and have him standing next to me. So you're just going to have to imagine that part. Um, so here we go. Please join me in congratulating the Honors Dessert Awards recipient for physical education, Luis Madrigal. Yay! <laughs> so, Luis, I wish I could bring you up here next to me because I do have some stories that I would like to tell um, to celebrate you and why you are so deserving of this award. But just pretend like you are, okay? So, Luis, I did not know a thing about him before this year. I kind of remember him in passing during PE over the past couple of years, but I didn't really know him. I never talked to him, nothing. So my first encounters was through distance learning. And, you know, that's all been black screen. So everything was always black screen for me. So I'm looking at a bunch of black screens. But, you know, being in physical education, it was... I think a little bit more different than some of the others because we're used to being interacting with our students there live playing the sports doing the games and that kind of thing we couldn't do that obviously so we resorted to workout logs individualized workout logs personal workout logs and um i remember looking at some of them early on you know september october and some of them would be like yeah i did you know push-ups for 20 minutes i'd be like i <laughs> I don't really know if that happened. You know, you'd have some students, yeah, I did, you know, jumping jacks for a half an hour. And some of it was a little bit unbelievable. But then I remember getting this one, and it was so incredible. I mean, it was so detailed. It was exercises, some of which we had talked about, some of which we hadn't. It included reps. It included sets. Um, it was just so incredible. And I was like, who is this kid? And it was Luis Madrigal. And I thought, wow, this is pretty amazing. I remember I even shared it with Ms. Hartman, I was like, wow, look at the, what this kid's doing. This is incredible PE work. And so then he was on my radar. I was like, I got to pay attention, you know, and see, see how this pans out. And every week, the workout logs were just as detailed, just as amazing, um, just as thorough. And it really was awesome to see Luis's work. In class, he would always greet me, you know, hello, Mrs. Mead, how are you? At the end of class, he would always say goodbye, have a wonderful day, you know, uh, have a great weekend, that kind of thing. So it was nice to have that little bit of interaction that, you know, we didn't get a whole lot of so early on in distance learning. But I remember this one day, and it was in the beginning of distance learning. And I had gone through, you know, three classes, done my lesson, doing my thing, doing great, still trying to learn how to do all this stuff. So Luis's class comes along, fourth period, and my Chromebook just nothing. None of my stuff would show. None of my videos would play. I was like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? It was like almost panic mode because I was so new to it all. I didn't know how to troubleshoot, didn't know how to fix it. And a couple of students were like, you know, can we help? What can we do? And I remember Luis chatted me and he says, hey, Mrs. Mead, give me sharing rights and I'll share your lessons for you and maybe we can do it that way. 
And I was like, oh my God, thank you so much. So I did. And no kidding, Luis shared every single one of the things I need shared with my class. He showed, showed the whole lesson, um, went through everything. He was great with my cues, you know, next page, next page, play the video, stop the video. It was amazing. And I remember afterwards, I sent an email to the students who offered help, including Luis. I was like, hey guys, thanks so much, you know, for not letting me just hang there feeling stupid and not knowing what to do. Um, I appreciate your help and, and reaching out so that we could get through our lesson. And I distinctly remember Luis's response. He said, he emailed me back and he said, Mrs. Mead, these are hard times right now. And our class is a family and we have to help each other. We have to be there for each other. So you're welcome. And I was just like, wow, this is a great kid. You know, this, somebody's done something right with this kid. And I really appreciated it. And I really appreciated him and, and what he did that day. Um, so thank you, Luis. So then, you know, the year went on and he continued to produce amazing workout logs, um, amazing work, completed every single assignment I have ever given them, you know, great job across the board. So then this past quarter, last quarter, we were finally given permission to let some of our distance learner kids come onto campus on Wednesdays during seminars and try the tiger run. I know, the dreaded tiger run, right? Who wants to do that? But I knew there were a few out there who wanted to attempt to earn that t-shirt that we offer. And so Luis was one of them. And so he scheduled a Wednesday appointment with me. Him and a, another student came in one Wednesday to run the tiger run. And it was like the first time I had seen him since early on seventh grade. And I was like, okay, yeah, this is the kid that I remember now. It was great to see them. And so Luis attempted the tiger run. And he failed. He didn't pass in four minutes, which was his goal. And I can remember a couple weeks ago when he did this, he got to the finish line and he hung his head and he shook his head and like he felt the disappointment in himself. And so this is what I want you to know, Luis. I am proud of you for showing up. The hardest part in anything you are going to do is to show up. If you show up, you've fought half the battle there. And I'm proud of you for showing up. And I, I know that my dad always used to tell me, nothing worth having is ever going to be easy. So I wanna tell you this right now, Luis, nothing worth having is ever going to be easy for you. If it is important to you, and if you want it, it's gonna to be tough. But someone like you, you are going to go out there and you are going to make it happen because from what I've seen from you, you don't give up. So you failed that one tiger run. So what? You come back, you try it again. Anything you fail, you get up, you come back and you try it again because anything worth having is going to be tough and I know you can do it. So, I have something for you before they kick me off of here for talking so long. Um, I want to make sure that the honors dessert people make sure you get it when they're distributing all of your things. But it's gonna look like this, so keep your eyes open. And I wanna show you what's inside. It's this. And I want you to put it up. I want you to put it up in your room or like on your bathroom mirror or maybe in your high school locker. It says, never give up. Great things take time. And you are a great person and you are going to accomplish great things. So please, please never, ever give up. Do wonderful things in high school. Um, make the very best of it. Get involved in what you like because you're going to be a superstar. And I know that. Um, so congratulations, Luis. You have definitely earned this award and thank you all for being here this evening and celebrating Luis and all of our other Honors Dessert Awards recipients. And uh, that's it. Good night from Coach Mead. Have a great evening. Good evening.
It's my singular honor to recognize one student from the Pre-Med Academy for Academic Excellence in the Medical Sciences. To this science student, I would like to say, as I was writing this, my thoughts took me back to when you were in sixth grade. You may not remember this, but in sixth grade, you gave me this amazing gift. It was this bracelet. Imprinted on it are four very meaningful words, especially to a teacher. On it, it says, I made an impact. The truth is, over the last three years, you're the one who made an impact. In the time that I have watched you grow into an amazing and confident individual, your hard work and dedication has worked to inspire me. Throughout your years at IMS, you've always been kind and respectful to everyone. You're hardworking and definitely not afraid to take on a challenge, whether it be as simple as guessing the name of a movie from its theme song to volunteering to host a Kahoot game for an entire class. And of course, the reason why you're a part of this exclusive group of amazing students. You've never shied away from taking on almost any academic challenge, and not just in pre-med. I believe you have an incredible future ahead of you. Just be who you are, harness that amazing drive, and follow your passion. Receiving tonight's highest honor, I would like to recognize and congratulate William Monday. The Science Department proudly presents their award to Alanis Naranjo. Alanis has been an amazing student throughout her middle school years. One day, Ms. Ramirez mentioned to me that Alanis was in her kindergarten class and said she was so sweet and respectful. I can say, Alanis, you are that, still that same girl. I had Alanis in my seventh grade science class. She always showed respect towards me and her peers. Her personality, curiosity, and humor would make my day. Alana shows great responsibility when it comes to her grades. She tries her absolute best to keep them up, and when they would slightly drop, she made sure to ask input from her teachers. Ms. Donaldson had Alana's in her sixth grade science class. She mentioned to me, Alana's was sweet and respectful of everyone around her. She would do her best to stay on top of her work and participate in class. Currently, Alana's is in Mr. Villalta's eighth grade science class. Now we all know this has been a very different school year, but regardless of the difficulties Alanis faced, she persevered through distance learning. Mr. Vialta mentioned to me, Alanis had an amazing participation throughout distance learning and worked hard to complete quality work. She has great interest in science and she's a pleasure to have in class. We wanna congratulate you, Alanis, wishing you success in everything you do from your science teachers. I am very proud to say that the student chosen for the Social Studies Honors Award was one of mine for both sixth and seventh grades. While I didn't know the student in the beginning of sixth grade, I was elated to see that name show up on my roster the following year, and I will never forget him now. And I am certain that the same holds true for his current Social Studies teacher, Mr. Cohagen. The student I am referring to always had a smile on his face always participated in class, always not only did all of his work, but went well above and beyond expectations. He was and is a shining example of what a student should be. So without further ado, I would like to congratulate, applaud, and thank this year's Social Studies Honors Award student, Aaron Ariano. All right, Tigers, this may be the end of middle school, but it's just the beginning of the rest of your life and many more celebrations to come. I'm so proud, humbled, and thankful for having been your principal for the past three years. You have been my people since the beginning. I'm so proud of you. I'm so thankful that I got to start my years as a principal with this amazing, excellent class of students. We can't wait to hear about your future successes. Congratulations, and remember, Tigers roar. 
On behalf of Mrs. Hartman and myself, we would like to thank each of the department presenters for the heartfelt words about their department's selected student, and also congratulate all 44 of our Indio Middle School Honors Dessert recipients. We would also like to thank Mr. Cohagan for all of his time and talent working on this year's slide presentation, and the many staff members who helped in planning, organizing, shopping, wrapping, setting up, taking down, and so much more to help make sure this honors dessert event happened. Without them, this event could not have happened. And their names will be displayed on the final closing slide, so please take time to read that at the end. Now back to our students. You have accomplished so much and should be incredibly proud of yourselves. To have achieved this recognition, especially when you've had to endure a worldwide pandemic, for over a year now is worthy of celebration. So kudos to each of you for your determination to not let your circumstances get in the way of participating in your education to the best of your ability. Now we are ready to celebrate you at our drive through recognition ceremony starting at 5.45 p.m. at Indio Middle School. You will have the opportunity to take your picture. There will be a photo backdrop with, with honors dessert on it. Uh, pick up your certificate, dessert, and much more. Please remember, you can come dressed up for your picture, so you can have a really nice photo memory of this recognition. Again, 5.45 to 6.30, pictures and pickup for students with the last name A through G, and 6.15 to 7, pictures and pickup, students with the last name H through Z at Indio Middle School. Not only do our tigers roar, you make us incredibly proud. See you soon.